Hi guys, Tech Geek for Life here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can flash Android 5.0 Lollipop on your Samsung Galaxy S2. This is only for the i9100 model, so if you have the i9100G uh, or one of the American variants, then you won't be able to flash this. Now, um, you can flash this um, while running any Android version, so long as your phone is rooted and you're running Clockwork Mod Recovery. So currently, I am running Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean. This is the stock ROM. And before you start flashing, download Root Checker just to make sure you do definitely have root access. So yep, yeah, it's saying it will only tell you if, if your phone is rooted or not. Then there's a little button here. It says verify root. I'm going to press on that. It will come up with a super user access uh, pop up. Click grant. And then there you go. Root access and installation on this device. And another thing to do before you start is back up your EFS partition. This is just in case anything goes wrong and you end up wiping your EFS partition during flashing. So what you want to do is you want to go into the Play Store and you want to search for uh, Hellcat K Tool. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well as Root Checker. But open up the app. Again, it's a root app, so grant it super user access. Then over to the right hand side, you'll see it says backup EFS. Tap on that. That's it. Done. Uh, you don't have to verify, but you can if you want. So that's all the pre checks. Next, you're going to want to download. Um, the ROM file, the gapps file, and a file to update your version of Clockwork Mod Recovery. If you've, or if, if you're already running the latest Clockwork Mod Recovery, then you can just skip the last step. But um, the ROM file, the gapps file, and uh, to update Clockwork Mod Recovery. Place them on the root of your um, internal storage. So, as you can see there. I've got the ROM file, uh, CM Resurrection Remix, the GApps file, and update Cloud Mod Recovery. After that, switch your phone off. Let's wait for it. Once it's vibrated, say so it's turned off. You're going to want to press volume up, the home button, and the power button all at the same time. Right up until the screen comes on, then you can let go. This should boot you into recovery mode. And there you go, recovery mode. So currently, as you can see, I'm running version 6.0.27. And now we're going to update um, the recovery version just so it's compatible with the lollipop ROM that we're flashing so you're going to want to go to install zip press the power button or the home button to select and use the volume buttons to navigate up and down the list so install zip then if your files are on your micro SD card you're going to want to choose choose zip from SD card but um, I've put mine on the phone's internal storage so if you've done that you need to go to choose it from internal SD card so using the volume buttons to go down, press the home button to select or the power button, whichever you prefer. And then you're going to want to navigate down to the one that says CWM KitKat compatible i9100.zip. This will update your Clover Mod Recovery version to 6.0.4 something or the other. Um, but it's the version you need to flash Lollipop. So select that. Uh, press the home button then you're going to want to go down to yes install using the volume buttons installing update install from SD card complete after that you want to go back and then you're going to want to go to advanced and then 
the top option, Reboot Recovery. This will boot the phone into the new version of Clockwork Module Recovery. And there you go, it's been updated to 6.0.4.5. So now, just like before, you want to go down to Install Zip, and then Home Button or Power Button again. Then, now it has changed, so you, if you have an, a micro SD card inserted, it will say choose zip from slash storage slash SD card 1. However, I have not got a micro SD card inserted, so it says SD card 0, which is your internal storage. So if the files are on the internal storage, you need to, you need to select SD card 0. If you're on a micro SD card, you need to select SD card 1. So in my instance, SD card 0. Then, I want to go down to the one that says CM Resurrection Remix LP, LP for Lollipop. Select on that, then go Yes, Install. This should only take a couple of minutes. You'll see the progress bar on the bottom. Bit longer than a couple of minutes, but there you go. Install from SD card complete. Now you want to go back to choose it from SD card zero, or if you're doing SD card one, SD card one. But in my case, SD card zero. Press the power button. Then you want to go down to the final zip, which we're going to flash, which is G apps L minimal signed. L for lollipop, obviously. Uh, uh, select on that. Then yes, install. This one's much quicker. There you go, install from SD card complete. Now I want to go back and then go to wipe data slash factory reset now it's vital you do this step because if you don't then it you'll get stuck in a boot loop because there'll be remnants from the old ROM you were using which will conflict with the ones from the new ROMs so the phone won't boot properly so yes wipe all user data
data wipe complete and after that you want to go to advanced which is the last option then you want to go to wipe Dalvik cache that's done now on the we need to go back so the bottom again go back and then reboot system now if it comes up with this message for fix root you want to click no because it could actually mess up root and now we'll leave that for a few minutes so it can boot into lollipop and the initial boot for whenever you flash a clean ROM will take longer than the phone normally takes to boot up so you go to the resurrection remix text And there you go, we're finally booted into Lollipop. So you're meeted with the Android setup screen. Uh, English United Kingdom. Next. Activating mobile service, we skip that. Skip anyway. Skip Wi Fi. Name me next don't need this we'll set this up properly later setup complete says your tablet is up and ready to use it's not a tablet but we'll go with it and there you go there's the home screen got it and you can actually turn these uh, on-screen keys off but we will go to settings about phone and there you can see Android version 5.0.2 so the latest version of Android 5.0.2 running on a phone from 2011 I believe and which had its updates discontinued at 4.1.2 Jelly Bean it just shows you how good some developers can be and there we go the lollipop easter egg 
with the Android Flappy Bird knockoff. Can't even get one. Oh, we'll leave that. But that's it. You will have successfully flashed Android 5.0.2 Lollipop on your Samsung Galaxy S2. The ROM runs quite smoothly, much smoother than the stock Jelly Bean did. And that's quite obvious because this is a newer version of Android. And it's much, much closer to stock Android or vanilla Android as rather than TouchWiz is. And there you go. Please like, favourite and subscribe if you found this video helpful or if you enjoyed this video. And thank you for watching.